me space cheesy and today we are gonna be doing a complete guide of the value system so you know you guys can get a sense of where you're at and where you want to be at in the future you know just a little guide to help you guys out with your trading so before I get into the video if your item is being given out don't feel the need to trade it if you're not going to be playing this game full time and you're not really like into the game completely, honestly, you don't need to trade it if you don't want to. It's just, if you like the item, then why should you trade it just because the value is going down? Of course, if you only have the item just because of the value, then of course, by all means, trade it away. But I mean, like, if you're, if you like your item and it's being given away, don't trade it, okay? Because guess what? I like my blue wind-up key very, very much. And I know that HAHQ is going to start giving it away anytime. But, I mean, I just don't want to trade it because I love it so, so much. And my gut's just telling me not to trade it because, you know, I'll be so sad without it. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. FYI, this is not like a complete guide of all Animal Jam items, just... The basics, most popular, most wanted. Alright, so let's get into the video. Alright, so the first item we are starting with is the Nutcracker Boots. Wait, let me... Alright, so the item has loaded. And FYI, this isn't my picture. So, okay, it says in the takey that this is worth... Okay, let me just exit out of it. Two to three decent Sapphire items. So... If you guys just joined the game, then I highly recommend going after Nutcracker Boots. But... Here's the trick, guys. I'm gonna let you guys on a little secret if you're new. <clears throat> Nutcracker boots come in every winter. Every winter they come in. The whole set in the store. Okay? Don't tell anybody. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, don't tell anybody. Alright, so, okay, let's see. Just to prove my point that it comes back every year. Yeah, I'll show you guys. See, guys? Comes back every year on the exact same day. Usually on the same day, but around in December it comes back. So if you guys um, Want to be rare then I suggest buying a lot of nutcracker boots. Okay, just saying all right, let's move on to the next item Next up we have the black spiked collar very popular among people Honestly, it's a good-looking item, and to me, it's above nutcracker boots So it's two to three decent seasonal items Okay, so the first two items were some popular items, but they didn't really have too much value. Just a little cute item. Oh, I got to add. All right, so the first one is worth lowest rare cool shoes, which, okay, I'm not really sure this is a great way of valuing items because a lot of people are going to get confused. So let me just value this in my own terms. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to say this is worth, okay, yeah, let's see what cool shoes are worth about. Let's see. Okay, I'm just waiting for this to load. Let me pause it. Alright, so this item is used to value items. It's like a good value index item. So, when you go on a lot of pages to research item value, it will say good mystical fairy amulet, low mystical fairy amulet. So, this is this is just like the... Let's just ignore what the mystical fairy amulets are worth for a second because it's really confusing and I just don't want to confuse you guys. Alright, so the gold one slash default is lowest. Okay, the middle one I'm going to say is blue. And this, the, the last one is red with a uh, red gem. This one, that one and that one. Okay, don't get confused between those two because they look a lot alike. Alright, so let's move on to the next item. Alright, so here we have Galaxy Wings. So, um, you have to add a little bit for a rare mystical fairy amulet. But for, I think, my opinion, like, usually when I had, like, the, um, galaxy wings, they go for pretty much because they are quite popular. So, I'm gonna round that to lowest mystical fairy amulet, not add small for it. And not a lot of, a lot of the wiki pages are somewhat off, so I'm just correcting them just a little bit, alright? So, let's move on to the next one. Here we are. So it says it's worth decent to good mystical fairy amulet. So honestly, yeah, um, Rainbow Spike does go for a lot. 
I have been offered hero set for it, and okay, let me just Google what hero set. And just to clarify, I've been offered the entire set, so it's worth added decent for Mystical Fairy Amulet. Well, actually, yeah, I guess this is pretty fair for Rainbow Spike because it's decent to good Mystical Fairy Amulet. So, yeah, I think this is pretty fair. And someone else offered um, a duck, which is worth lowest dual swords. Wait, let me just show you guys. See, add for lowest dual samurai swords. So, um, you can theoretically get more because people really want the Rainbow Spike. And if something is really wanted in the game, then you can get more for it. Like, um, when Lil and I comes out, the new item that she asks for, the item just goes up. Okay, so for example, she wants, um, uh, she wants Megan Angel Wings, or like, um, she wants a spiked collar, just a regular spiked collar, not the black one, alright? The item will go up, okay? Okay, the, just ignore the black one for a second. The item will go up, and it will just be up there for, like, the whole day, and then come back down the next day when Lil and I leaves. And same with the item that Lil and I gives you for that. So, a tip, guys. When Lil and I comes around, then, of course, uh, trade for the item and try to trade it away as soon as possible. Unless you don't really like the item. Here we are, Dizzy Stars. I'm sure most of you have seen this item before. Rainbow Spike, Collar Plus, Decent Ads. Yeah, I would say, I guess this is pretty fair. Because, like, um... This is a pretty wanted item. I would say, yeah, around the value of Rainbow Spike, but plus some ads because Rainbow Spike is... That's, this, okay, this might be really confusing, but let's just say um, um, Dizzy Stars is a little bit higher than Rainbow Spike, all right? All right, so here we have Cuffs, all right? This is starting to get into the bigger rares section, all right? So, okay, so here we have white and... Uh, so we have the white ones... Okay, this is the lowest. This color has like a tannish, um, a tannish band color, and it's just like white, fluffy on the bottom. I've never actually owned cuffs in my life because I never really actually wanted them. All right, so the middle one I'm gonna say is a hot pink one. That's the one in the middle. So decent cuffs, D uh, white and teal, and the hot pink are decent. Okay, bl uh, blue and white are good. Uh, gray and white are high, and black and uh, white and black are highest, which is blackout plus tiny ads, because, okay, I'm just going to explain the blackout situation later, and the reason I'm not showing you guys these ones is because they don't really get used too much in the terminology, but okay, so the pink and peach one are low, and that one is decent. If you guys need to refer to this later, you can always skip back in the video. Here we have the double tail. Okay, so it's worth add small for lowest cuffs. Yeah, I don't really know if it's like add small for lowest cuffs. Uh, yeah, I guess it is add small for lowest cuffs because this is a very popular item and I remember advertising for it because I wanted it so much in the past. So yeah, about, uh, uh, about almost lowest cuffs, I'll say. Yeah. Uh, okay. Alright, so here we have the striped scarves. Okay, this item isn't very popular, alright? Let me just say this. I'm just showing you guys the value of it because it's used to measure the next item we want. Okay, so add for lowest free arm cuffs is the dark blue one. Okay, the middle one's purple and pink, red and orange. Decent. Lowest free arm and lowest free arm cuffs. Okay, I'm just gonna say that this is, like, wrong in a sense. I'm gonna say that these are both worth lowest free arm cuffs. Because people want the same, like, thing for it. Red and white. We have, um, decent free arm cuffs for the red and white scarf. Now, this item isn't too wanted, so I'm not gonna guarantee you're gonna get full value for it, so if you guys are trading it away, just ask for a little bit lower than what it's actually worth so you can trade it away. Alright, so here we have the next item, Dual Samurai Swords. Now, if you guys want to get Blackout, I highly suggest getting Dual Samurai Swords because it's a very good base item for to get blackout and a base item is basically an item that most people uh, tr use to get another item 
So, for example, um, Dual Samurai is a base for Blackout, alright? So, if you guys want to get Blackout, I highly suggest getting Dual and another item, too. Cuffs are also a good base item for Blackout. Alright, so, Lowest Striped Scarf plus good ads. Okay, so, add for low furry arm cuffs. So, this one, add for low furry arm cuffs. And highest is Highest Striped Scarf plus ads. So, it's, yeah, I'm gonna say, because this item is very wanted, the teal dual, dual is very, 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 very wanted, so it's worth decent cuffs plus ads, maybe you can get a little bit higher, high cuffs, okay, and another item I want to explain about is the rare item Monday, so here we have this, let me just wait for the image to load, okay, here we go, a lot of people mistaken this for Dual Samurai, because it has a rare tag and it looks similar, right? But this one is actually a fake. This one is the Rare Item Monday, which comes out on Rare Item Monday, which is basically where they bring rares into stores, or variations of them, like the R Rim Firefly Friend, which I'm going to explain in a minute. Alright, so here we have the Firefly Friends. Alright, and most of you already know what a blackout is. It's it's similar to Firefly Friend, or like has like a similar value line. It's about on the same value point as the uh, pink fire as the Firefly Friends. Uh, about a few weeks ago or a month ago, I think it was highest. But I still think you can get highest Firefly Friend for uh, blackout because, well, I mean it's wanted. I mean just because the item is is being given out doesn't mean it's not unwanted. Not all items go unwanted when they're given out. That's a lot of things people believe but isn't true. Alright, so the yellow and gold firefly, which is the lowest, is worth add a lot for the um, blackout. And if you have this, I suggest adding like, um, now let's see, I suggest adding something that is on the lines of decent mystical fairy amulet. Okay, so the middle and decent one, okay, so the yellow and, uh, green and yellow, so yeah, add a, add somewhat, okay, it'll add kind of a lot for it, but not too much, so add a decent amount for, to get blackout, and blue plus lime, blackout spike plus adds. Now, I think this is wrong in a sense, because you can still get highest firefly friend for blackout, but, uh... In value terms, what Wiki says, it's the lowest, the second highest one, the high Firefly Friend is worth Blackout, but you can still get blue and lime for it, so, you know, try to get the high, highest one if you can. Oh yeah, and here we have the Rim. Let me just pause it for a second. Alright, here we have the Rim Firefly Friend. This one was given out during the Summer Carnival. Uh, not given out, it was brought out on Rare Item Monday during the Summer Carnival, and I bought a lot of these, and I recycled them because they're absolutely useless. So, yeah, this is the rim. Alright, so 